Hello and welcome to new Atas video. Today I'm going to show you how to speed up your trading by using the hotkeys. Before we finish, I will explain how you can customize the default settings and even create your own hotkey combinations. I will be using a lot of shortcuts, so keep an eye on this area on your screen. Let's see how hotkeys in Atas significantly increase your efficiency. You're a breakout trader and you trade Renko chart, where you don't know when the current candle closes. You should get into a position quickly when the next candle finishes above this specific level. It's happening right now and as you can see, I got into position with two contracts in a fraction of a second, just by pressing the W key. If I need to reduce the position size to one contract, I press one at the keyboard and as you may spot, I'm scaling down to one contract for my next position. When the price achieves the target I was aiming at, I'm pressing okay. S for market sell. This way, I'm scaling back my current position to 50% and pocketing half of my profits. What if you changed your mind and needed to cancel all these waiting orders? I'm pressing E and again, it has taken almost no time compared to closing orders one by one. How about reversing position? Without losing concentration, I reversed my position in a flash by pressing the R key. Let's move on to look closely at the subject. Hotkeys are useful for scalpers, breakout traders or anyone who aims to enter trades as fast as possible. But it's not just them who will find value in boosting their performance and speeding up their operations on the Atas platform. You can stay 100% focused on what is happening on the chart and control everything via the keyboard. It's a good idea to double check the trade settings first. So the first hotkey I will bring up is T. This opens up the chart trader panel. Here you can verify which account you're about to use, the size of the trade you're about to enter, or if you've got any exit strategy in place. Following two combinations are great for traders looking to jump into a position right away. These are the buy market and sell market options. Hit W to open a long position at the market price. In the same way, pressing S launches a short position at the market price. The placement of these keys on the keyboard is a helpful guide. W is above S, so W is for long and S is for short. If you check this box and enter the one-click trading mode, your orders are placed instantly, no confirmation needed. When you want to have some control at which price level will be the position opened, you should use limit orders instead. Buy bit means placing a long position order just a tick below the current price at the bit side using the A key. Or sell ask for a waiting order a tick above the current price at the ask side using the D key. Remembering these keys is also easy. Bits are on the left in the order book, just like the A key, while asks are on the right, like the D key. The same is for footprints at cluster chart. Bits are left and asks are right. Recognizing the key difference between market and limit orders is necessary. A market order opens a position right away, but limit order waits for the price to come back to it. Once you are in a position, you can choose to close or reverse it. For closing, the Q hotkey basically places a market order in the opposite direction of your current position and closes it. For more experienced users, reversing a position means closing the current one and opening the opposite immediately. For instance, if you are one contract long, pressing R sends the market sell order for two contracts. One closes the current long position and the other opens a short position straight away. Suppose you need to partially reduce an existing position. Enter the desired value in the size field of the chart trader panel and press the S key to sell off the specified amount. Now you have only a part of the contract left. In the crypto market, you can also limit the action 
within an existing order by activating the reduce only function with the C key. Pressing Z key cancels all your waiting limit orders, but not the stop orders. In contrast, X key cancels stop orders, but leave your waiting limit orders untouched. And finally, E key cancels everything. Waiting limit orders as well as stop loss orders. You will find a clear list of all the hotkeys under the settings tab in the control panel, not just the trading ones. But let's focus on these for now. Here you can see all the hotkeys I've mentioned before. Atas platform goes further, allowing you to modify existing hotkeys or even assign new ones to fit your trading style. Let's say I want a hotkey to lock trading, which isn't set by default. So I click on the not set field and enter my new key combination. Say I choose shift control L, Atas will warn me if it's already in use, like for charting, drawing objects, label. Atas checks every new hotkey to ensure you don't lose default settings. So I'll go with Ctrl Alt L instead, and that works perfectly. You can reset all hotkeys at this trading tab to their default settings or clear them completely, leaving no active hotkeys. If you change your mind, you can hit reset again to revert to the standard settings. And by selecting reset all or clear all, you can reset or clear hotkeys from all tabs in the hotkey settings of the platform. Using hotkeys is the quickest method to operate Atas platform, potentially giving you an edge over those who depend on mouse clicks. We hope you found our videos engaging and useful. If you did, please show your support with a thumbs up and spread a word about Atas channel. Remember to subscribe to stay updated with our upcoming content. And thank you for watching.